everyone, it's uh, Brett Hornby here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel as this Calgary Sports fan. I would like to take another break from my Calgary Sports for this particular video as Google Play Music. It definitely, they're closing up shop, and I recently got an email, just figured I'd put it out here as well, that it is time to really, really migrate your files from Google Play Music to YouTube Music. I've done that myself, where I've already transferred over my library. If you have any presets or all that, they recommend you to do that by February 24th, because if you've not done that just yet, apparently all your files go bye-bye. When me personally, I only use Google Play Music just as a storage, and had all my files on there but I did already transfer everything over onto YouTube Music and I find that YouTube Music is a better experience overall compared to Google Play Music. I know YouTube Music definitely tries to compete a lot more with Spotify and Pandora as well as Apple Music but I like the feature about you know seeing the music video in sync with the music if there is a music video available but I just figure I'll just put a video out there if you have not received an email I mean chances are if you have a Google account or a YouTube account you have a Google account as well and chances are you probably have files on said YouTube music or used to have on Google music that it's just seamless so you can be able to just transfer your your library over I think the whole service entirely was shut down as of December 2020, but it's to give some more time to maybe get access to your files. So if you have a massive, massive music library, you have a couple weeks if you have not migrated your files over from Google Play Music to YouTube Music. So this is your fair warning if you have not acted on that as well. And it did also said in the email that I got that since I've already transferred my music over and I just treated it as a storage that I did not make any custom playlists or anything like that and it did say that if I did happen to make any custom playlists in the meantime after I transferred everything over that they say they recommend that you do that again because it would transfer that over but basically once I heard about YouTube music coming to be the mainstream music platform for Google and pretty much abandoning Google Play Music, I essentially just let that dormant. And even then, there was a lot of time that on your app, on your app icon on your phone or tablet or whatever device of your choosing, that if you pick, click that Google Play, it will promptly get you over to YouTube Music to either download the app or if you have it already, it'll just transfer it over anyways. But... Uh, that's just your fair warning if you have not got the email. I got the email the other day that February 24th, that's when all your files on Google Play Music will be gone for good. So if you have not transferred it over, consider this as your fair warning to YouTube Music. And I say if you have never tried YouTube Music yet, or not tried as I meant to say, it I think is a much, much better experience. It is similar to other, you know, streaming services out there as well and just, you know, Pick random music playlists based on what you like or your mood on a certain day of the week. And of course, I also made my videos talking about YouTube Premium. Is it worth it? And I personally think it is worth it. I have already had my reviews. It's like, you know, get rid of any ads and have unlimited skips and plays on YouTube Music as well. And also, I was able to find just a fan made or Someone made a labor of love, as it's called, you know, a desktop app that you can download. You can just Google it and be able to download and just have your, you know, player on your desktop as well. So anyway, as I just like to say, if you if you want to follow along this Calgary Sports fans journey, home the Flames, Hibben, Roughnecks, and Stampeders, I, I mostly do do talk Calgary Sports on my YouTube channel and make videos like on stories or game recaps. But I also do a variety of non-sports content because you always want to try to... Uh, Branch out a little. I mean, you niche down, but want to branch out a little. And I always try to find some other evergreen content, as they always say. Because some of my sports content 
is only, you know, gets the views right away and then just sits on there. But I also do personal logs, which is basically what I just talk about something that's on my mind. I also do attempt to comedy, which is what it is. It's an attempt to be funny, but I also do share my experience when I'm on the road or a sporting man. And do sprinkling a lot of odd review or just a service update video as well. So if it all sounds like it'd be interesting to watch, do follow along with this Calgary Sports Fans journey. You know what you do, just uh, make sure you like, subscribe. I also have my other social links down in the description below for other ways you can follow me. And I also recently made my thank you video for passing 250 subscribers. So uh, just want to keep you know growing on this platform and keep making content on this platform as well. And obviously on the side, especially sometimes if you're stuck working at home, like myself and many others have been for months, it seems like, or years with this global pandemic with COVID-19 that uh, YouTube music is definitely a great service to pass the time as well. So I just want to say thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.